More than marriage at first sight marry at first sight bride Alyssa Barmond was criticized by the audience for her dirty behavior at her last dinner party last night. The Sydney-based 35-year-old single mother reunited after being thrown by Duncan James on her final vows last Sunday, all guns blazing, accusing her of wearing a mask throughout the entire experiment. Alyssa said on a piece of camera that she was undoubtedly talking about me before saying Duncan was fake and had to grow up. Let's move on to Duncan's interview, where Alyssa says she's a great person and would never say a bad word about her. Shortly after, when couple reunited, Alyssa was seen pretending to be vomit before Duncan brutally addressed the 36-year-old at dinner table. Alyssa's handling of being dumped by Duncan infuriated audiences. Duncan emerged as the hero of this season. James Weir recaps read full recaps here Duncan calmly stated that although he longed for a future with Alyssa, the couple were ultimately not right for each other. However, the attempt to calm the situation was in vain. You left me brother, you left me Duncan, you broke my heart, Alyssa said. You made me believe that there is a future for us. I sacrificed my son for you. Viewers took to social media after the frustrating encounter, complaining that Alyssa was dreaming and projecting their own insecurities onto Duncan relating to MAF's star Big I'm a Celebrity Ultimatum, MAFS Groom reveals his brutal final vows Alyssa hasn't been doing any media interviews for the past few weeks amid the emerging villain portrayal. Meanwhile, News.au spoke to Duncan last week, after his final vows, in which he doubled down on Alyssa's defense. The things people say about and about him. I hate that. I've seen some, I don't see much. I try to distance myself from him, Duncan said. Nobody deserves some of the horrible comments people have made. Duncan also confirmed that she had recently written to him asking if there was anything he could do to help her. If someone asks me Alyssa in any interview, you'll see that I always speak positively about her, because that's what I really think her, she said. It's crazy how cruel some people can be at the keyboard when they see an aspect of someone's life.